Hey guys, so if you're having problems connecting to the Wi-Fi or if you're hardwired in and you just can't connect to the internet still after doing a browser reset, making sure your modem is up and functional. So in this case, what we're gonna do is go to the bottom right. For this example, um, your Wi-Fi is not working. It does not show any of the Wi-Fi um, being broadcasted out. And your Wi-Fi name, it's, or the Wi-Fi button, it's enabled. So if it says Wi-Fi off, make sure you want to turn it on. And if you also see the uh, this icon right here with a yellow exclamation point, and uh, then you're going to have a problem. So you want to make sure that's enabled. But let's just say for this example, it's not. So what you want to do is go to the bottom left with the Windows logo, type in Device Manager, go ahead and press enter or left click now you'll want to go all the way down till you see your network adapters so depending on your computer and whatnot you'll each it'll say different from what mine will say now with the broadcam 802.1 or 8.2.11 ac network that's my wi-fi Yours can say the same, or it'll say Wi-Fi or a wireless card. Then that, you know, that's your Wi-Fi card. So what you want to do is double click on it, and it'll say Advanced Drivers. That's what we want. I do apologize. Then what we want to do is uninstall. And then it says you're about to uninstall from your system. Go ahead and do that. And what you want to do is go to Action scan for hardware changes and it'll reinstall itself and there it just came back and you should start being seeing all the Wi-Fi names you should be able to connect to it now same concept if you're hardwired so mine is the Qualcomm Ethereos and Ethernet controller if yours says anything like Ethernet then that one's your hardwire controller or device and what you want to do is double click on it Go to the drivers, uninstall, and it, and if it says delete this driver software for this device, do not, I repeat, do not click on it. Leave it unchecked. Then what you want to do is click OK. But by default, it's not checked in. But if you check mark it, you're going to have some issues and you're going to have to reinstall the software. But again, go to actions and scan for hardware changes. And it'll come right back and make sure you know you're plugged in and you should be able to browse if so awesome and now if you find this video informational or educational of any matter like and also subscribe to my channel it helps support me and I'll support you by creating more videos on other topics